Two teams step up, but one is going to get smacked down. We'll find out who's got the stuff of champions on the destination vacation season of... Arena! Welcome to Arena, the show that turns multiplayer games into competitive sport. I'm Lee Raymond, and today we continue down the road to this year's Hall of Champions, where our teams will compete for an all expenses paid week of fun in the sun, where in beautiful Hawaii. Now, last time on the show, the Impact players made their second successful title defense, putting them just two wins away from the Hall of Champions. So today, a new challenger, Team Wiener Boy Gang, will try to end that reign at the top. Our squads will go at it first in Lowrider, then Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, and finish things up with Unreal Tournament 2004. So let's go to Kevin in the console pit to get the action started. Kevin. All right, thank you, Lee. Now, today we're bringing a little culture to the show. Well, it's car culture, as our console game is Lowrider on the PlayStation 2. Just imagine DDR, but with cars, and you'll sort of get the point. It's all about hydraulics and tinted windows and socks pulled up to your knees. I mean, that's the name of this game. So let's get to the ghetto fabulous with Lowrider. Holmes. What? Lowrider. On the left will be the Wiener Boy Gang in the pink car, and on the right, the blue team, the impact players. And now they've got to perform the front hop. Rareman, I saw you doing this in your Jeep this morning when you rolled up. I was doing this on my bicycle. An excellent front hop by Don't Shoot. Let's see if he, he's just as good with the trunk. Now here's the rear hop. Oh yeah, fill the tub. And it's a close one. Both teams bouncing like crazy. Now they'll have to perform the side to side. This game is all about timing, Rareman. When that car hits, they've got to bounce it up on the opposite side. Both teams to... well into the 500 point totals. Yep, we've got an, a very close match. Now they got to do the all important spider crow. It's kind of like the camel toe, but there's a variation. <laughs> He's got to pull it out here on the pancake, though. And Alpha's running away with it for the Impact Players. Clearly has his hops today. Alpha for the Impact Players takes round one, Kevin. Two. In our next round of Lowrider, Kevin will have, for the Wiener Boy gang in the pink car on your left, is the Big X. And for the Impact players to your right in the Lavender car will be I Am Ryo Hazuki. Very close. It looks like Big X has that rear hop down, though, and he's running away with this little section of the match. And a close one still, and actually, I am Ryo Hazuki. Pull the head slightly, but now no, on the, to the to your left of your screen, in the pink car. It's a very close match, Lee. Big X is coming back big time, and now he's got a comfortable lead. He's got the timing on this here pancake down. The seesaw battle right now. No, that was the pancake. They do the seesaw later. Lots of bouncing around going on. And there's the seesaw battle. It is just almost a dead even score here so far, Kevin. Lee, that was a setup, clearly. Lots of bouncing going on. It's OK to spike well, one of these I was going to say pop the hood. That's all right. And Big X for the Wiener Boy Gang takes round two with that late flurry, Kevin. Three. Close match so far. Destructo having a little bit of a lead as he gets that front hop way up there. Presto Destructo having recently driven in from Rancho Relaxo. And now the uh, ever popular side to side, a staple in the lowrider culture. I've tried uh, tri tricking out my uh, Subaru. It just doesn't work. You don't have a driver's license, do you? Around the world. 14, you And a seesaw battle. No, the seesaw's coming up later. I'm going to have a big Virgin Mary painted on the trunk of my WRX. It's going to be awesome. Presto Destructo with a slight lead, albeit very slight. And now the four wheel hop. All four buttons have to be pressed simultaneously. It's all about rhythm, it's all about finesse. And now the front back seesaw, they've got to press L1 and L2, and then R1 and R2. Going and back and forth. Destructo. Opening up a little bit of a lead here, Kevin. And time is up. I think Destructo ran away with that round. Four. And round four is underway, Kevin, for the Wiener Boy gang. It's Gangsta Fred. And on the right, 
the Impact players. And the sprite-based crowd cheering with their two frames of animation as they go into the octopus. I always thought this move required Benoit Ball. And a big flurry of points for Gangsta Fred. Kevin, he is way ahead on points now. Apparently, Gangsta Fred, this is his game. Got a juggle left. Ah, uh, but Acid Ronan got the juggle left going on as he viciously humps the spare tire of Gangsta Fred. And now we go into the all-important four-wheel hop. It's like the pancake, only different because they have to mash all the face buttons. And Gangsta Fred holding on to that lead. One, two, three, wiener! Yeah. Where are the wiener? And it's official. I haven't seen that much bounce since I caught Paris Hilton in night vision. <laughs> it's a joke. Either way, it looks like the Wiener Boy gang has spent their fair share of time at Friday night car club meetings as they won three of the four rounds and jiggled their way to victory. Now let's go down to Flo, who's standing by with the Wiener Boy gang's Presto Destructo. You know, I have to say, it was kind of an easy game, don't you think? Yeah, it was, it was really easy. Uh, all you had to do was push the buttons when it told you to. And have you played it before? No, this was my third time playing it, so. Well, do you think low riding skills are going to translate into Jedi Academy? Other than just timing my attacks with my enemies, nothing really. Um, it's two completely different games. I'm going to have to rely on my teammates now. So it's all about teamwork for you, right? Yeah. So let's meet the rest of your team and your opponents, the Impact players. One time we were playing video games downstairs in my basement and my mom came down and uh, she was like, what are you wiener boys doing down there? And it just kind of caught on from there. Unreal is our game, definitely. Yeah, I think this going to be the game we're going to do the best in today, Unreal. Yeah. We're trying to go for the Hall of Champions. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Always. We are going to All the way. Champions. And I think we're going to win and I, I think we're going to embarrass them. Definitely learned uh, how fun it is to come on and play video games with each other. Uh, what's what's better than coming on TV and playing with your friends and games that you love to play? Teamwork does make a difference. My teammates especially have done a tremendous job on what they've been doing, and I hope they keep on doing the same thing, which is beat people up in the games. I think there's more to the name Wiener Boy Gang than these guys are letting on, but no matter what the origin of their name, our challenges are off to a fantastic start after dominating our console round and claiming the first point of the match. So the Impact players have their work cut out for them, and after the break, we will see if they can bounce back in Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. And later, of course, we will square off in Unreal Tournament 2004 as we head down the road to Destination Vacation, and it's all coming up right here on Arena. G4. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, the Wiener Boy Gang dominated our defending champions in Lowrider and took the early lead in the match. Yes, Lowrider. But the Impact players know that it takes more than good timing and good hydraulics to win in this arena. So let's go to Kevin in the Xbox Command Center to get the galactic swashbuckling started. Kevin, it's a mouthful. Not the first time, Lee. Thank you very much, though. It's Jedi Knight and Jedi Academy, and it's set in the Star Wars universe, and it features all of your favorite characters. Now our teams will go at it in two-on-two -two action and the weapon of choice. Well, of course, it's the Jedi's bread and butter, Yield Lightsaber. Today's map is Vigen Sentinel, which features a central pit that could come in handy if you use your force powers effectively. So fire up your lightsabers, and let's get to the action of Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. One. Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy is underway. Big X and Chewbacca going at it, each wielding the dual lightsabers. The Impact players in blue. And we see Big X get taken down by Alpha there. We've got a 0-1 a match on our hands in favor of the Impact players, our seasoned vets. Come on, James, you got this. The Wiener Boy gang, don't shoot Big X. Not faring so well. Ryo Hazuki just impales Don't Shoot, giving his team a two to nothing lead. It's all impact players early on here. And another kill by Alpha, bringing this to a three to nothing game. Oh, weak. Three to nothing for the impact players, the team of Alpha, and I am Raho, Ryo Hazuki. Oh, oh And it looks like another team kill somehow, as we've got a two to one game. 
Friendly fire, as we all know, is a problem here in these team games. Big X mows down Alpha. It's now one to two. The Wiener Boy game making somewhat of a comeback here. I don't even know how to use force. The impact play is two to one. And as we're seeing here, Lee, it's, it's half skill and it's half being able to use the environment to your advantage as players are dropping off the map. Push them off. Push them off. The impact players having not fared so well here in Jedi Knight Jedi Academy holding on to a slim lead. We have a one to two match in favor of a returning champs, the impact players. Ryo Hazuki dies on his own accord, but a kill by Alpha brings the score back up. And this bad boy's three to one as Don't Shoot gets taken down. Oh, that's good. The impact players clearly have a strategy together as they're content to play D, waiting for the enemy to come to them. Keep attacking, keep attacking. And Big X gets double teamed by Alpha and Ryo Hazuki, and he gets eliminated. It's a five to one match. And it is all impact players here in round one. Two. And round two is underway. The Wiener Boy gang needs to put it together here. The impact players having just performed magnificently in the first round. Where you at, where you at? I have no idea. Right now, both teams actively searching for each other, trying to find their eHarmony match. Watch out there, dude. Looks like Gangster Fred got taken out by that elevator there. This ain't low rider, people. Maybe they can do the force front hop. Good job, good job. <laughs> and Gangster Fred taking some force lightning from the back. It's mowed down by Atom Bomb. Good job, man. Negative one to one in favor of our returning champs, the Impact players. The Impact players once again, Kevin, showing some uh, uncharacteristic, consistent play here at Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Well, when you're playing against four-year-olds, that can happen. Adam Bob and Acid Ronan not wanting to be outdone by their teammates, Alpha, and I am Ryo Hazuki. And Presto Destructo gets taken down by Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb's on a bit of a killing spree here. Firefight ensues. It's actually more of a plasma fight because really the lightsabers are made out of a carbonite material that uh, resonates within the shut. <laughs> and we've got a three to negative one match on our hands as the impact players are trying to double team Presto Destructo. Where'd he go? He's upstairs. Upstairs. Right, right. And Destructo wisely flees from the fight. Takes a lift up top and waits. For a member of Impact Players and catches him as he comes off the lift. Excellent strategy, but he can't follow it up as Acid Ronin takes him down. Yay! They finally got a kill and a lackluster, yay, sneaks out of the team. Sounds like someone got mail. And then a team kill sends them back to a negative two. Tap him on the shoulder if you need him out of there. That's, that's gangbang etiquette. And it's all Impact Players here in Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Kevin. Yes. Woo. All right, well, either the Impact players put in some quality practice time with Jedi Academy, or the Wiener Boy gang just sucks, as they spent more time jumping into the pit of despair than actually fighting their opponents. Now, apparently someone forgot to tell our challengers that using the Force is actually a good thing. Note to self. Let's go down to Flo, who's standing by with Acid Ronin. Well, you guys finally did it, oh my goodness. So what did you do differently this time? We've been practicing a lot of teamwork, uh, trying to use the force powers uh, with each other instead of against each other, and that seemed to definitely pull us ahead in this match as opposed to the other two, which we didn't do so well in. Well, you know what, the match is gonna be decided in UT once again. Are you feeling confident or iffy or? Of course we're feeling confident. We brought in the win the last three times. Should be no problem to bring it in for a fourth. Just the confidence, Lee. Well, of course they're feeling confident because the force was Finally, with the Impact players as they wipe the floor with the Wiener Boy gang. So it looks like our winner will be decided. You said it. Unreal Tournament 2004 once again. The Impact players have done it before. We'll see if they can stage a repeat performance. Now, while our team suit up for battle in UT 2004, you can head to our website where you can catch a glimpse of the Hall of Champions and check out your favorite team's profile. Our final game, UT 2004, is coming up right here on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, the Impact players put a hurtin' on the Wiener Boy gang for their first victory in Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Let's just say they put a little blood on the hot dog. But our challengers, they hopped to a win early in Lowrider. So it's all come down to our final game. Let's go to Kevin in the PC ring to get things started. Kevin. 
Thank you, sir. Now, our third and final game today is Unreal Tournament 2004, the newest title in the squad-based first-person shooter series. Now, the mode for today's game is Assault, where one team tries to meet assigned objective, and their opponent, get this, they try to stop them. Wow! Today's map is Fallen City. It's a post-apocalyptic wasteland that once stood as a bustling metropolis. Players will find multiple levels spread throughout the map, and they just might want to pay special attention to the barrels strewn about the environment. So let's get to the action and see who will take the match as we head into Unreal Tournament 2004. One. The Unreal Tournament 2004 is underway. Assault in the Fallen City. And on offense, we will have the red team, the Wiener Boy Gang, and on defense, the Impact Players, the blue team. All members of the Impact Players drop down immediately to defend that barricade. No one's sitting up top to use, take advantage of that turret. Can't say I agree with that strategy, but let's see if they make it work for him. Adam Bomb sneaks around back and catches Don't Shoot from behind. All right, they killed me. I caught Don't Shoot grinning, though. I can't say I agree with that. We have to go as a team. Big X using that strafe dodge, double tapping left to right. It's almost about to die. It's almost about to die. And the barricade's taking some serious damage, and up it goes, and a blaze of glory. Big X destroys the barricade, and now they're moving on to secure the forward outpost. Let's go, guys. Come on. It was a good two and a half minutes, though, Kevin. That may not be fast enough here in Unreal Tournament 2004. Hey, it's an accomplishment in my book if I can hang in there for two and a half minutes. Ah. We have to make up for lost time. Let's go. Gangster Fred, unopposed at the moment, making his way towards the objective, trying to secure that outpost. Here they come. Runs into Acid Ronan as he double jumps his way into the fray. Get him, get him. Got it, got it, go. And don't shoot! Completes the objective for the Wiener Boy gang, and they are moving on. Did not take them long at all to secure that outpost, and now they have got to destroy the two locks. Go on top, go on top, go on top. Gangster Fred drops down from up top. Don't shoot is there, taking some shots at the lock. He takes some health off, it gets mowed down immediately. Gangster Fred launching some rockets at one of the locks. It's low on health. One more shot will do it. And Gangster Fred destroys one of the locks. He's going for the second lock now. He destroys it as well. Gangster Fred is making up lost time for his team. Our time to shine, yo. And the Impact players definitely should be co complimented on their great defense here. And now the Wiener Boy gang has a clear objective. They've got to destroy the command center. There's two of them. There was one located near that pillar there, and there's one inside the subway car that Ryo Hazuki is standing there to defend. On top. One's coming down, left side. One's coming down, right side. Excellent communication on the part of the impact players as they let each other know exactly where the intruders are. Got it. And Big X destroys one of the command centers. Their objective completed here. And that'll do it. Two. Now on offense, the impact players will be in blue. And once again, they will have six minutes, seven seconds to complete the objective. Why do we only have five minutes? Because you have to complete it in the time that we do. Don't shoot drops down from up top. The barricade having taken a little damage here. Acid Ronin making his way in. Spins around, switches to rocket launcher. He should focus his attack on the barricade, though. And Acid Ronin gets mowed down. Big X is up top using that turret. Now the turret takes some damage. Big X gets demolished. You see it. You see it. So far, though, they're not too far behind. The pace set by the Wiener Boy gang in round one. Somebody's coming. They got about 50 seconds to destroy it if they want to be ahead, and it looks like they're going to do it as Ronin Boy, Acid Ronin, is there. But no, it gets mowed down. Atom Bomb comes in to put the finishing touches on that barricade and blow it up, and now they're moving on. Keep it going, keep it going. And Big X doing an excellent job of slowing the forward progress of the impact players with that turret, but they finally destroy the turrets. All right, I'm dead. Presto Destructo and the other turret gets taken down as well. We are turretless now. And as we see, the timer on the screen lets us know that the impact players are now behind the time set by the Wiener Boy gang. Post, dude. And Big X is on an absolute killing spree as he mows down multiple members of the impact players. Acid Ronin finally makes his way in towards the forward outpost, takes a little bit of damage off of it. And we're under two minutes, Kevin. They better hurry. We got this. And the Wiener Boy gang already declaring victory. And it looks like the passage to the Hall of Champions just might be blocked right here. Good game. And the good games have already been declared as this round is about to end. Goodbye, Impact players, and hello to our new champions, the Wiener Boy gang. Double kill, at least last time. Good job, guys. All right, so the Wiener Boy gang didn't exactly set a blistering pace, but the Impact players, well, they seemed to lose their focus and they ran out of time. So in an upset of epic proportions, the Wiener Boy gang rose to the occasion and won Unreal Tournament 2004. However, our defending champs, 
They did win the points for Jedi Academy, so this one is coming down to the MVP and sealing his victory for the team, along with copies of Lowrider, Jedi Academy, and Unreal Tournament 2004, the two DVD special edition, mind you. It's Big X from our new champions, the Wiener Boy Gang. Let's go down to Paul, who's standing by. This is a huge upset. You guys won. Were you expecting this? Yeah, I was expecting it. You know, we worked hard. We play together. We work together. We do everything together. And we win together, and that's how we do it. Do you think you have what it takes to go to Hawaii? Oh, definitely. You know, we worked very hard for this. I think we earned it. I, we deserve to go. OK, Lee. I don't know, those big boys over there might look pretty good on the big beach. Now, the Impact players seem to be setting their challengers up for the kill, just like they've done in the past, but they stumbled this time, and the Wiener Boy gang ends stealing the title. So we've got a new team starting in their own path to the Hall of Champions. They'll make their first title defense against a new challenger next time as we move one step closer to the fun, the sun, and the drink umbrellas of Hawaii, a destination vacation right here on Arena. <laughs>